Hi, it's John Landers here for T-BAMES, originally the Big Apple Indie Music Series. Now we're calling these new segments Connecting Through Music. I have with me Laura Cheadle, who um, is a singer-songwriter um, based out of, I believe, Pennsylvania? Yeah, Philly. Uh, yep, and uh, who's performed uh, for our show back in July 8th of 2015 at Toshi's Living Room. Sadly, that place is no longer there, but there's other places that replaced it uh, due to the pandemic. Um, Laura Char started singing at the age of four. She recently signed on with Traveler Guitar as a spokesperson and also signed on Sobold Entertainment. So that's a pretty good thing since the 10 years we've been working this. Um, welcome to the uh, interview and thanks for taking the time to be here. Glad to be here and seeing you again. Yep. So um, just to review, what was your experience and uh, impression with our, our showcase back then when we did that? I loved working with it. I, my Actually, my favorite one I did with you was the one at the cutting room. I think that was even better than Toshi's living room. Yeah, because I had my whole band, and uh, that was really memorable. That's that was, right, the cutting room. Uh, yes. Yeah. And that's the only venue that, since we started, this is still uh, existing from when we started there, which is kind of unusual. Wow. So uh, I guess you can almost answer the question, but when did you first realize that music was your calling? Like, uh, how, but you have a, a family of musicians, I believe. So talk about that. Yeah, well, my dad is a professional uh, musician. I had famous people in my living room growing up in my basement. I was like, this is amazing. And my dad's, you know, he was signed to Columbia Records at 17 as a songwriter. He's toured with everybody you can imagine. Um, so I saw the, he didn't force me into it, but when I was a teenager, I was heartbroken. I started playing guitar and teaching myself to play. And then the family band joined me and I love it because it's always something different. And the music career is, is just ongoing and so much fun. It's always something exciting. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's great therapy for any kind of thing you're dealing with. I, I talk from experience myself. Um, who are your influences in music right now? have been well i grew up with my dad's influence so you know the oldies like stevie wonder and aretha franklin is my favorite singer of all time um but i'm a huge john mayer fan um i love songwriters you know like jason rash john mayer but i it's such it's very different taste some days i'm in the mood for blues some days i'm in the mood for folk it just depends on my mood awesome and have you experienced any challenges in the past 10 years with your career going forward with, between what, what's going on in today's environment? COVID was crazy, but it was kind of it was kind of a really fun redirection. I learned how to do everything virtually. I have all the equipment now, um, but I've always looked at it as a career. You know, I don't look at it as, oh, if this doesn't work out, then it's over, which I think a lot of people do. It's there's so many avenues that I continue to do, and I feel like I'm just getting started half the time. Very cool. What do you find is the most effective way for you to market your music? I think being super genuine on, you know, online is really showing your talent, but also getting out from away from the screen. I'm always out meeting people. And, you know, I was recently, we'll, we'll talk about it on a CBS TV show, which is now leading to even more things for me. It's because I was networking and out and about, and that's really important to do. Yes, I, I remember I, I had to do a lot of networking before I even started my showcases, <laughs> so I get that. Um, do you have any specific social media sites that work best better for you than others? I love Instagram. Um, that's my place. Uh, Facebook, of course, but Instagram is my favorite place. To I think it's kind of like a portfolio for musicians. It's like, boom, right there, and it's just always been my favorite. Have you have you tried the TikTok stuff at all? I'm on TikTok, but I just put myself performing. I don't do any of these crazy things on TikTok. Yeah, I, I don't find it. Uh, I, I stay away from TikTok <laughs> uh, myself. Um, how do you uh, reach online radio networks to play your music? What's the what's the procedure there? How, how you do that? Well, now I'm so happy that I'm working with So Bold Entertainment. And I'm distributed through Sony Orchard of Sony Music, so that has actually been amazing for me because they're kind of really helping that from that platform but before that i just reached out on my own i would message myself and do the do the work myself mm. everything i've always done even for my performances i sell out every show now i'm still emailing people personally and i think a lot of people don't do that anymore 
Yes, that, that's that's very cool. Uh, that's very good. Um, so what are you working on today with your music? What's your current project? I have a brand new album called Mannequin coming out, distributed through Sony Orchard, Sony Music, and it's out January 1st, 2024. And I've been writing that album for four years. So uh -huh. it's really a big deal for me. And it's going to be everywhere uh, on every digital platform. It's even going to be on vinyl. And uh, I'm going to be on a new show on a major network. I can't tell you what it is, but if you didn't know, I was just, I just won a game show called Raid the Cage on CBS. Oh. It, it was hosted by Dame Wayans Jr. It was a full hour of me on primetime. So it's, you get to see my humor and talk about things. And I won $91,000 on there. Um, Very pretty cool. Insane. And, but it's, it was more of like, not just like a game show. You got to see my personality. And through that, I just got my own, I can't say what it is, but I'm going to be on a network show. Okay. Coming that's up. That's cool. Yeah. That's so exciting. That's, I love that. Wow. Not just for the music career, it's going to be showing me as an artist and my personality and my everyday life. That's very cool. So um, is there anything else you'd like to share with the audience before we finish up on this? I, I, it's, I'm trying to keep it simple because yeah. uh, I find that the attention stand of most people are shortened. So we keep it to, uh, to the basics. Just go on my Instagram at Laura Channel Music, go to Facebook, and I'm always, always updating. You'll see everything on there, where to follow. Very cool. Appreciate that. And thank you so much. Hold one sec.